Greetings, everybody. It is the Ash Heritor, and welcome back to Rogue Trader. Here we are in Kiabagama. Uh, there's a bit of heresy going on here. I hate to break it to you guys, but I think this Manufactorum world has fallen to the dark side. So we're going to need to do some purging. I always Thankfully, have a backup Heinrichs plan. is here with us, so he's going to be all too eager to participate in said purging. I actually kind of want to quickly uh, adjust the crew yeah, formation here. Uh, we do not need Iliad in the front, but rather have Heinrichs in the front, and then we can have Jai. I'll put Heinrichs... I'll put Pascal, like, dead front. Heinrichs and Jai on the flanks. I can be right smack dab in the middle. We'll put Iliad in the back, and, uh... Ooh, where do I put Argenta? That's, of course, the issue. I guess we can put Argenta right there. There we go, like that. Perfect. Uh, what do we got here? We got ourselves a cogitator. The screen of this cogitator shows a scrolling line of repeating technolingua. Staring at the obscure symbols gives you a headache. Okay. Well, Is there money to be made? Then uh, we should probably not do that. We should also probably get these goods. Intriguing. Intriguing indeed. What have we here? Another one. The 16 Universal Laws. The Warnings. A tome containing warnings of the Omnissiah. The set of unshakable tenets of the Adeptus Mechanicus is hidden from the eyes of the layman without it. Okay, it's the same thing that we got in the last episode. Basically, we need a uh, an anointed tech priest who can divine the sacred knowledge from this folio. Like, shouldn't... I guess Pascal's not an anointed tech priest? Is that what's being implied here? Uh-oh. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, oh, hi. You're, you look not good. Are you the... Fabricator sensor, you look like you're probably the fat. Oh yeah, Cubus Delphin. I mean, anybody who's named Cubus is probably evil. And um, yeah, you got a lot of legs. Looks cool though. But all that spiky business that you've got on your legs is making me think you've probably fallen to chaos. Uh, we've uh, of course have confirmation that he has indeed fallen to chaos. So we got Skitari all over the place. At least that's what I think these guys are. The massive Magos, clad in ritual garb, lets out a binary trill and turns to you. From beneath the deep hood of his mantle, two dimly lit eye implants gaze at you. Yep, you hear another binary tirade, this time clearly addressed at you. <laughs> Who can taunt him? What's the matter, little tin comrade? Implants on the blink, forgotten how to speak properly. You dare address me in the vile tongue of savages? Me, the steward of Kiavagama, lord of the machine world? Kneel, pathetic spawn, if you seek swift disposal! You propose that I, the rogue trader of the Von Valancius line, kneel before you. I'm giving you five minutes. No, not to beg for forgiveness, to speak your last words and offer your final confession. You are one of the troglodytes who once had the gall to oppress my comrades and resist my will. A messenger from barbarian, or a messenger from the barbarian who drank the sacred unguents bestowed upon her through others' toil. Very well, then your appearance is the perfect opportunity to teach your ilk a lesson. My name is Cubis Delphin. I once held the title of Fabricator Sensor of Kiavagama Manufactorum, but I rejected it along with the other fetters that hindered progress. Once my faith was flawed and led naive fools from the cult mechanicus into the darkness of ignorance, now I am this world's master and serve the true gods. You tread upon their territory and you do not number among their legion servants. Therefore, you must be subject to immediate disposal. As the senior functioning member of the Priesthood of Mars, I, Magos Explorator Pascal Hanemon, declare this temple to the Machine God Compromise and forthwith forbid all services within it. I dethrone the Fabricator Sensor, the ignorant heretic who has betrayed the Omnissiah, and condemn as anathema any and all standard procedures implemented by him. Let the cycle of the blasphemous operations he has put in motion be discontinued. Pascal switches to Binaric, and you hear dissonance burgeoning in the depths of the Forge Cathedral. Some of the great mechanisms heed his order. 
and go still while others, obeying the fabricator sensor's will, continue their work. Crashes, explosions, and the clanging of crumpling metal signify that some dissent among the machines has interrupted the manufacturer's production cycle. Naaman, liar, you are not him. Demons Hanaman obeys me, his mind is open to the voices of the Void, and the scrap code he created protects my world. And I'll not have you rusted refuse from the misfit cast of explorators call me ignorant. This statement is false. Your regalia have been revoked. You have been deemed defective and will be eliminated. Pascal turns to you and says dryly, Initiate heretic search. Designation Demens Hanaman. I wish to execute the retribution procedure. What did you do to the governor of Kiamagama? Is he alive? The removal of unserviceable artifacts was the first step towards retooling this world. Only my tech comrades heeded the call of truth that reached into their cogitators and allowed them to pierce the veil of empty dogmas. So you've traded one master for another. I would have expected a fabricator sensor to be smarter than that. Fabricator sensors of Vox lets out a piercing, barely audible sound that makes your insides shudder. I will rip out your spinal column and braid it around my staff, you arrogant creature. This is my world, and it will serve only me. Even a cursory analysis of the data shows that the probability of this outcome is negligible. You, like your predecessor, are but an artifact of certain calculations. One that requires minimal resources to revise. I love the way how they, like, talk. It's just so, yeah, clinical and machine-like. I do not know if I have ever seen anything more bizarre than two monkey vying to prove who possesses the greater hubris. You may be driven by your will to fight, but know this, Kiyavagama has already been converted. Its lines have been restructured, and its servants have already tasted the fruits of progress. In the crucibles of this manufactorum, torrid liquid metals will be used to forge vessels for sacred spirits. The adepts are already tirelessly delving deeper into new mysteries that were once barred by the false tenets. You, servants of fake gods, are too late. The entire might of this world will soon rise up against the anathema and his slaves. So the anathema is in reference to the Emperor, of course, that's what the Chaos followers call him, because he is uh, antithetical to the Warp Gods and their nature. Um, and the, uh, the vessels for Sacred Spirits, he's of course referring to Demon Engines. Though many open admissions of heresy in so few sentences, Sister, how many death sentences would you say his words warrant? I cannot answer that, Master Van Kalox. It is my it is not my duty to measure the guilt of heretics. When the Adeptus Sororitas appear before the enemies of Imperium, it is time to fire, not count. <laughs> and now is one of those times. <laughs> you know why I like deranged tin cans like you? When you're killed, you leave behind plenty of useful spare parts. I think I'll make a portable recap machine out of you. <laughs> Comrades, purge the manufactorum of any random variables. I must prepare for the culmination of our great work. <laughs> okay. Stop the outsiders. Let their blood mix with oil. Okay, we got some secutors. Alright. And they're gonna raise the drawbridge, of course. Truth, conceal the pack from the impious. Alright, well, uh, time for violence. So we're going straight into a fight. Um, no, we can actually still move, interestingly enough. I reckon we'll be Let brought into a fight dawdle. almost immediately. Oh, hi, there they are, Corrupted Skitari. Uh, well, that's not good. The Emperor sets my path. Can we move her up here? Just, just right there, and then we can... Immediately put some Dacha down for the range weak. to open this up. I'll make an example of you. The Solid dead. start. Two dead. <laughs> I love opening up fights that way. Alright, so we're going to move as far up as we possibly can. I'm going to put Argento right here. 
Um, Pascal, you can... Do I have you tank forward? How many of them are there? Quite a few, actually. At least Corrupted Skitari. Plus more up here. There is a Logis Heretic. Oh, and some more Skitari. Plus another Logis Heretic. These are... Oh, that's a Skitari Alpha, huh? They don't have that much health. The Skitari Alpha certainly does, though. Um, I wonder if they carry, like, Galvanic Rifles. Those types of weapons. Uh, I'll move back here, actually. Um, I'm gonna put Heinrichs right there. Jai, I'm gonna hold back for a sec. And Irliet, you know, it's not really a good place for you. I'm gonna put her back here for now. So. Yeah, see, I only have two actions. I think once I use the ability, I get an action point back. That must be what's going on here. Uh, so we'll I'll put do some it. shots down this way with our Genta. So she can do some work. That's two more dead. Uh, Rebel Faith and Slaughter, we can already do that. Worthless. Nice. So, that's, uh, that's our turn. We're going to drop a confident approach. And uh, let's juice up Heinrichs. Get him going in in just a sec. Now it's my turn again. I will juice up Pascal. I'll juice up I'll Argenta for when she gets her next turn. I am going to... First off, drop a front line right. I won't stand for it. Not there, because I can't see it. Okay, then. Uh, then we'll put a rear right here. Who, if not me? And I'll drop a back line right here. And these two. That's uh, going to be fairly irrelevant. I'm going to give Heinrichs a full warning. Also going to give him a prescience. I'll make it happen. And I'm going to give him a turn. It's as good as done. With that turn, we're going to have him cast Word of the Emperor. So he's going to use this turn for buffing. He's not going to get to them immediately. And we can drop a... Ooh, we could also drop a warp speed. I'm going to actually give myself an iron arm. And... Let's drop a shield see of the it. Emperor. Just to make sure that we don't uh, take too much damage here. And I think that's going to be my turn. Here they come. Skatari. A whole lot of them. I feel like these shouldn't be swarm enemies. These should be a little bit more elite. Alright, well, good thing they didn't hit us. Um, hmm. Oh boy, they're up there too, huh? Okay, so there's a lot of them. As it turns out. There we have the Alpha. I'm not going to use perfect spot because she's not in a perfect spot. What I will do is drop a uh, if I opening must. on that alpha. We will then put some uh, stacks of analysis on him. I am then going to do a precise attack and I think we can uh, do a poise to strike. I am not your scene as well. Pet hopefully, monkey. take him out in one shot with the uh, killing edge. 25% chance. But Fritz, he's dead. I hear you moving. I missed. No more. But his buddy is dead. Um, hmm. Not sure how that worked. Okay, Logis Heretic Arc Rifle. We need to be afraid of that. So that's gonna. Like, we're standing here, we're gonna be taking a whole lot of uh, problems from that. So I'm gonna move Argenta Emperor, over here. Move through me. Can you be shoot the up fire this way? In my heart. Yes, but only against that one guy. Ooh, here we also have a bit of a disadvantage. Um, can we just take this guy out? Just make him die. Or I pop him with a single shot. Should kill him, actually. Let's do it. Goodbye. Um, what I can do, is I have a free grenade toss every combat. I can just throw that As right the here. Emperor commands, I act. Well, rip to that guy. We have momentum. That is superiority on our Genta, because she's a monster. <laughs> she gets going. Alright, uh... Where to put some shots? I guess we just unload into the, uh, the that alpha is here. For the weak. <laughs> yep, he's almost dead. We still haven't used any of our. <laughs> it's ridiculous. As Wildfire. The commands, I act. Okay, reload. Faith without deeds is worthless. Now we can just shoot him again. As the Emperor commands, I act. But you, my each strike okay, is a threat. Okay, glad hit him. So, they're dead. I'll do it. Revel and slaughter. And, uh, we can advance again. 
Question is, do I do I want to actually advance? I mean, why not? Guided by faith. So, single shot against somebody? You? As the emperor commands, I act eradicated. Oh man, she is brutal. <laughs> she is so brutal. Uh, drop the fury is suicidal. Weak. I don't know if they're going to get any closer to me. We have momentum again. <laughs> Two momentum for one of Argento's turns. Dear Lord. Uh, <laughs> a moving target so, takes giant longer. It's going to go up here. It's a little bit, a little bit dangerous for this. Um, we have our automatic glass gun. She can shoot down here, but I think I'm going to switch up to the pistols here. So we can do some work right there. Hmm. Or we do a, uh, a dark light blast onto this guy. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to try that. Oh, <laughs> oh man. I love You've it. You've got a problem. I've got a problem. Okay. Well, that, uh, that missed. That's our turn. Okay. Tell me, press and the advantage. Is done. And uh, we could give Finest Hour to somebody here. Who, who could we give Finest Hour to? <laughs> give it to Argenta. <laughs> They'll write legends about me. All right. Argenta's pissed. You know, this is a lot of heresy going on, and he doesn't stand for that kind of thing. So we're just going to move up to here. The I can always dash. The of the Emperor will be undone. Position. So we're going to uh, eradicate these guys. Two more dead. You, my Emperor. Faith drop another rebel in slaughter. Is worthless. Um, we can do a single shot. Against the, these are alphas here. Okay. Uh, well, single shot this guy. This is why I was chosen. Fantastic. Then I can uh, As wildfire. As the emperor commands, I act. I don't know if I actually needed a wild. Yeah, I did. Because then we can do it again. Four percent chance that we accidentally explode that. That's a risk she's willing to take. Well, he's dead now. And uh, we'll reload. I'll do it. Got two actions left. I guess we can blast this guy too. Strike is a prayer. Oh my god. <laughs> what have I, I done? Do <laughs> I've created a monster. The rest of the party's like, well, uh, I guess we'll just sit here and have a picnic then. <laughs> she just like face tanked that. Like, yeah, I don't care. Uh, Heinrichs, let's see, we can't get him any closer. Unfortunately. The what Emperor we can do is on our side. Is give him warp speed. But of course, Lord Captain. Which would be great. We'll allow him to move a little bit farther. He can't attack this turn, which is unfortunate. I do have a gun. We could needle pistol this guy. For the throne, Take him your out. reckoning right, well, is due. He's dead. Uh, we already have iron arm, right? I did give myself iron arm. I sure did. Well, then I'm going to give it to Pascal, in case that ever becomes a problem. Naturally. And we'll drop an Endure, because I am standing out in the open like an idiot. All right, Pascal is a little bit faster than he used to be. You have Pascal come up this way as well. I think that's actually going to still be the faster way to get to the enemy. And besides, Argento is going to kill everything on that side anyways, so it doesn't fucking matter what we do. Let's drop a bounty on this guy. Uh, we can also drop an analysis on him. And then I think I want to shoot him with a multi melta Single shot. How much damage will that do? Honestly, not that much. What if we pull the bold? Let's give it a try. Oh no, but then I can't. Yes, I still can't. Perfect. Alright, I didn't screw that up. Okay. It was not the most effective thing. But hey, you know, we can also get a machine spirit banishment here, so he's not doing too hot. Jai's turn again. Well, I guess we can get rid of this guy, so she can run up right here. Do we blast him with the blast pistol? Why not? Going somewhere? This is such a cool weapon. Like, holy shit. I mean, it's just firing like a dark energy pulse. Absolutely brutal. We're going to give Don't uh, get too cocky. Pascal move, 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 because he's definitely the slowest. That is the tactical. Run up there now. Um, oh, God, we can give him a... No, he doesn't have the warrior ability. Um... What else do we got? We have another Heretech up there. No way to give him an extra turn. 
and no way to shoot anything. Yeah, everything else is out of range here, so. Uh, yeah, they're all dead. So, I mean, what do we do now? Everything's dead. I guess we'll reload. Why not? Am I getting paid for this? Uh, yes. A lot. The strong point You've him. got a problem? I've got a price. And, uh, I guess we can take Tell aim. me, and it is done. Then, And we can give him another action. I can do that. Suppose. With the right incentive. What can you do with another action? Can you drop a machine spirit banishment at that range? Probably not, right? No. You can get some analysis on him, though. No. So we'll do that. And, uh, we can drop a bounty on that guy as well. No sense in wild hunting or doing anything, uh, else crazy. Um... Tactical knowledge? No. The drop joint analysis. Is that only allies in a one cell radius? No, all allies. It's a pretty good ability, gotta say. Should be using that one more. Alright, we'll send her up with uh, Argenta. I don't need luck. Not because Argenta needs strategy. our help, but, you know, we can give her some moral support. I'll give her a forewarning. She's standing out there in the open. She might get targeted by, like, the two guys that are left. Oh, look, we can give her another turn. Wait, can we give her another? Oh, God. Can I do this and this in one go? Let's first off put this I'll right make there. It happen. And then we can put our, uh, oh, we can't move another one. Okay. okay. All right, look. On it. We just have Argenta kill the entire enemy force. As the Emperor commands. Well, there's another one. He's dead now. Um, I'll do Rebel it. and slaughter. <laughs> Why not? Run and gun. How far can you get? All the way up here, huh? I will can you get into range of that dickhead? Fury. Oh look. Oh, just out. Not without a dash for you. As the Emperor commands, oh, no. I act. This poor guy. He's like, oh no. And wildfire. <laughs> Faith without deeds is worthless. This is why I was totally eradicated. Well, it's over. <laughs> I always keep my options open. My god. Power sword. I'll just stubbed carbines, power malls. Okay. Lotus Heretics, what did you have? You had a, an arc rifle, right? Mizoa pattern arc rifle. This is a better arc rifle. I am going to hang on to that. Maybe we'll even give that to, uh... Pay attention. What do you mean? Oh, that's a... a crap. And another Mizoa pattern arc rifle. We do not need multiple of them, so this is going into cargo. Okay, so we Keep have... Keep your wits about you. Okay, that was rude. Um, we have a trap I'm right restless. here. I'm going to immediately defuse that before I forget it. I better myself through my service. Okay, uh, up here. We have ourselves a door. I Those always have a backup plan. You never know what they're up to. So we need to be very cautious. We have all these Skitari here. We can uh, loot them. We need a second power sword, so that's going to go to cargo. Oh, more doors, huh? And goods. Oh, look at this. Sort of like better incendiary. Always games. keep your eye on the prize. The probably are at some point. Is there anything else here? More goods. All the way down there. Oh, we can actually just run on down there. What are they making? Oh, those are uh those are demon engine parts if I've ever seen them. So they just have an assembly line cranking out demon engines. That's uh unfortunate. There's a dying tech priest here. Is there money to be him. made? And uh, the broken panel of the cogitator is sparking its blind dark screens, showing it nothing. All right, what do you have to say? That's disturbing. That's a whole lot of partially liquefied bodies. But are probably all being thrown into a, uh, a blender. This pile of human remains, carelessly tossed together in its suffocating stench, the torn, gutted bodies once belonged to tech priests, but you cannot spot even a glint of metal anywhere. All their implants are gone. Suddenly, one of the ravaged bodies makes the tiniest movement. The tortured man's lips move ever so slightly, his half-closed eyelids twitching. Let's approach. The man can barely breathe without his respirator implant. It's a miracle he survived the horrific vivisection, but it takes you a single look at the gaping wounds where the augment was ripped out to realize death is only a matter of time. As if having sensed your presence, the half-dead man looks to you 
and, inha and sharply inhales the hot air. Machine spirit, deliver me. The binaric requiem coming from Vo Pascal's fox sounds solemn and grim. Upon hearing it, the man's mutilated face twists into a weak semblance of a smile. I don't think we can help him. Who did this to you? My comrades. His voice is barely audible. It seems each word takes the man a great deal of effort. Machine spirit. Has the Omnissiah truly abandoned us? Yamagama has fallen into the maw of the eternal enemy. The holy Magi, they succumb to heresy. Rest was stripped of their true flesh to feed the heresy. Preserve us. Deliver me from erring. Sacrifice living blood from vessels of the true flesh while their heart is still beating. After that, oblivion. His eyes grow glassy. I knew you would come. I've waited so very long. Deliver me from my torment. Iliad's alien harsh features are graced with something strikingly similar to grief and compassion. Such senseless savagery. What a horrible fate to be betrayed by one's own. I attest that three categorical requirements for assigning the status of martyr of the faith have been met. Opposition to the enemy, preservation of adherence to dogma, and a brutal death. <laughs> a brutal death. Requesting the right to extract the subject's organic matter for it to be used in the creation of an honorable servo skull. The man who is minutes from death wheezes weakly. Honor, I am thankful for the right to serve. Yeah, let's give him a, uh... Given the request, we'll get a uh, picked recorder servo skull. We can delay it. Why would we do that? Heretic. Oh, just for torture purposes. Yeah, Pascal, real request is granted. So he just takes his head. Brutal. Wow. He just plucked it right off. Leaning over the dying man, Pascal, in a decisive yet surprisingly respectful motion, cuts his throat. Wielding a long scalpel, it takes him a mere moment to release the cervical vertebrae from the hold of muscles and sinew and cut the vertebrae, severing the head from the body. And just instantly servo skull. Alright. Let your service continue, tech comrade. Man, the Adeptus Mechanicus is brutal. Everything in 40k is brutal, except for my character. She's not that brutal. Alright, Pictor Crowder servo skull. I mean, Servo Skull is designed to spread the glory and splendor of its mighty owner. We have the Scribe one. We can get the Picture Quarter one. Can multiple people equip them? No, only I can equip them. So these are just like your pets. Oh, well, we'll equip this one. I refuse. Incorrect armament. You cannot equip more than one familiar. All right, fine then. Well, now we'll float around. We have our own new servo skull. My success is the device, now evidently used to chop bodies into pieces, was once an ordinary cooling fan. I mean, look, sometimes right you gotta repurpose get left things in the like... Dust. I, too, have thought about using my computer's cooling fan for this purpose. I mean, wait. Hold on. I didn't say that. We already looked at that. My brain is... Keep your wits about you. You know, it's, it's, it's something. Praise the green matter. Melty key. There we go. We got bunches of them. All right. What do we got in here? A cogitator. Lovely. Oh, and this is actually a second door. So Let us not dawdle. First and foremost, there's some loot with uh, ooh, a Melta Ultima. Okay. Uh, all right. All right. Staff of Blood. Siphon Life. It's a biomancy staff, huh? We can give that to, uh, that's cool. I'm gonna give that to, uh, Heinrichs for sure. Okay, this is a good find. Wrong button. So, the Melta... The Melta Ultima? How does that pan out in comparison? Like, it almost does as much damage as the Multi-Melta. It's got better range, so that's huge. And it's got the, the extra scorching attack. But looking at the two of them here, I want to just check the stats here. Nothing... Okay, this Melta weapon, modified by the Adeptus Mechanicus, has increased firepower and range. Just like the action economy is just so much better. Uh, I, I spent so much time building up for this multi-Melta, but now... 
I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna just give him the rec, the, the new Melta gun, the, the Melta Ultima. We're gonna throw this Melta gun into uh, cargo because we don't need it. Okay, equip this, and because of that, we don't need the strength gloves on him anymore. So I'm gonna take the strength gloves off of him, and we can put them onto uh, the scout. Not not the strength gloves. I mean the. The shooty gloves. 10 ballistic skill, 25 critical damage. So, his ballistic skill is now 85. That means he's going to be much more likely to hit with this thing. I think that's a good course of action. Don't need any of this here, right? No. So we do have a plus 10 strength set of gloves. Plus 10 weapon skill, plus 5 strength is better there. What... I could take them, though I don't know what I would need strength for, so I will not. I mean, man, like back on, back on go the boring persuasion gloves. But I got nothing better, so that is what it is. Okay, you have two lots here. I'm gonna give you more grenades. Like she has the grenadier ability. We have this better frag grenade. I'm going to equip that. Uh, we have a large med kit here. She's still got one. Um, that's fine. Alright, let's check this cogitator. Something is howling within the metal housing, as if the machine spirits of this cogitator are lamenting some irreparable loss. We'll tech use this. Your knowledge of machine spirits is sufficient to trick the system and subdue it to your will. A false query in it. Okay, we, we already read that last episode. You gain access to the cogitator system. The device's machine spirit can do nothing to thwart you. Subdued by its defeat, it's, it's in the depths of its lair. It's awaken it. You touch the levers and the reels of the control panel and disturb the slumber of the spirits that reside within this cogitator. The machine dawdles as if still drowsy, but nevertheless performs its assigned function. Okay, then. That may have been useful in the fight. Before the fight. We'd have somehow been able to get there. I don't know if that was, would have been possible, but I think that would have been funny. Or we'll see. Maybe maybe it also did something else. But we have another door here. With more goods and a trap. So we'll have Argenta disarm that. We have ourselves something. But more pertinently, we've got some goods here. What do you got in this room? Just some maglev impellers. Okay. And the screen of the cogitator shows a scrolling line of repeating Technolingua, staring at the obscure symbols gives you a thing. Yeah. Uh, so we can blow this up. I see no reason why we would need to do that. Do we get X for doing that? That's that's the question. I only have three melta bombs and melta charges. I find that unlikely. Nope. Apparently I only have three. In that case, we are not doing it. Definitely if we get experience from it. As you approach the cogitator, you notice a number of deep scratches left by huge claws on its metal surface. Despite the apparent damage, the machine seems to be in working condition. Uh, let's view the log. The log contains nothing of interest. The maintenance ritual schedule for the sacred machine that moves the bridge. An activation log and a few notes of a religious nature entered by tech priests. Alright, let's activate the, uh, the thing. You touch the levers and the reels on the control panel and disturb the slumber of the machine spirits that reside within this cogitator. The machine dawdles as if still drowsy, but nevertheless performs its assigned function. Down comes the bridge. No escape. We'll get you. Step away from the cogitator. So, I just want to make sure we actually explored all the different areas. I think we did. That's just going to be our way back, probably. Okay, so did this do anything here? No. But this, so yeah, this would have splattered these uh, corrupted Skitari had we somehow gotten up there. I don't know how that would have been possible, but by the looks of it, it must have been. All right. Well, to the bridge. Another heretic of Stardis. A quick save. Just in case there is a heretic Astartes, there's somebody down there. It's not a heretic Astartes, though. It looks to be a servitor. We appear to at least be docile. All right, some bombs there. We'll send uh, Argenta to defuse that. Fantastic. 
Um, the the goods. All right, multi key and some other stuff. We don't really need it, but that's okay. Can we stop this? The concentrators panel has dozens of breakers, buttons, handles, switches, and other control mechanisms. View the log. Okay, so we have data crypt with uh, three potential things. So we can review the supply protocol. At first glance, the records look like a typical shipping report, but after further reading, it becomes apparent that the focus here is not ore or assembly parts, but augments extracted from living tech priests and spent mass, the flesh of the victims killed either during or for the sake of machine rituals. The production protocol. The log looks damaged. The lines are uneven. And some of the values seem impossible. After a few minutes of studying the records, you feel your head begin to swim. The stored data can only be comprehended by a twisted mind touched by chaos. Ah, oh, yeah. Equations that don't make sense. <laughs> Review the Ascension Protocol. This record looks like a sermon of some mad chaos worshipper. The log, clearly written from someone else's words, mentioned that the heart that exudes virtue and the cradle that rocks the child of truth. Hmm. Hmm. That's not good. Okay. What about up here? What do we got? Little so blue thing, we got ourselves yet another trap. Hold everybody here first. Defuse that. Defuse that. Fantastic. What do we got here? Another one? Indeed. Lots of traps. And one more here. This is something. Who knows? Okay. Well. This is where the guy was. He's no longer here. What a coward. Sure. We'll go this way. Can we go the other way, though? Maybe. Maybe we should check that first. Accept the act accepts the access codes. Clanging, the clanging of moving bolts indicates that the door has been unlocked through the inside. So that's straight up going to connect us to somewhere else. I think we need to do everything else here before we do that. Probably. I don't know if that's like a, a separate place. I mean, it's a separate location, but I don't know if that's like a big location or just a side location. Just to find out. I'm gonna go up here first, though. Um, still no heretics, which is surprising. I'm gonna go the other way, because there's some loot that way. Including this right here that I walked right past. Man, look at all this lovely uh, decoration that they've got going on. This unit's augmentations bear decorative elements not specified in the catechism of maintenance and operation. Registry in category 14, blasphemy. Yep. This is pretty blasphemous. Touch any of my augments with your iron tentacles and you'll be registering a bullet in your forehead. Oh, he's talking about I mean it. <laughs> I thought they were talking about this, this unit as in that cogitator. The desecrated altar to the Omnissiah, the purity seals have been torn off, the data slates with the sacred code shattered, and some sort of and some of the teeth on the gear adornments have been broken off. Okay. Keep your wits about Altogether you. not too evil, I guess. Okay, there's something going on over there. I guess we'll head down this way. I sense something uh -oh. nearby. Always Turn around. Keep your own price. Um hmm. Hmm. Wait. No, this doesn't work. I have to go around. Can we go around? Yes. We can blow that up. Huh. We haven't had this type of puzzle. But I guess that makes sense. Fascinating. I was not expecting... So what do we hear? The cyber guard is asking for access codes you do not have. Well, screw you. Uh, that crap and see what's in here. This large device is a cargo lift for transporting parts. There seems to be some sort of like branding. Okay, well, I don't think we can do anything with this thing yet, so I guess we'll move on. Hope that we can come 
come back here later. Um, hmm, cultists, huh? Oh! Oh. Oh. Oh boy. Uh. Now, hold on just a second. Uh. What we got this way? Let's go this way. This way doesn't have chaos space brains. Lore War. An eerie looking makeshift structure is adorned with revolting totems and symbols that the dim lighting makes it look like. What? Like the ornate symbols are moving. Of course they are. And here we have. Crucified body had all of its augmentics removed. Judging by the abundance of blood, they were ripped out while the tech priest was still alive. So friendly. Okay, so there's some sort of vat. There, we got some combat servitors and a corrupted rust stalker. Interesting. Okay. Dimmense? Ah, you. We need to uh, kill him, I think. And hmm. how do we do this? What's the what's the best course of action? Can we have like yearly yet? Just cap him. You're you're bad. We can probably talk to him first, actually, because it doesn't look like they're immediately hostile. Maybe we'll gain some intel out of these guys. Deck Priest tears himself away from reading his data slate and looks up at you. His respiratory augmentic is missing. Instead, the lower half of his face is covered in deathly pale artificial flesh. You take note of the multitude of fresh augmentics attached to his head. They seem to have been inserted haphazardly, and pus is seeping from the untreated wounds. I have heard your footsteps in the void. You are Von Valencius, are you not? Pascal exchanges a series of binary signals with Tech Priest before saying menacingly, Initiate arrest procedure. This unit is using a fabricated identification code, which constitutes a grade 4 transgression. This is the other Hanayman. Identify yourself. His white and lifeless lips stretch into a smile. My name is Dement Sanema. I believe it is familiar to you. This statement is false. This unit stands accused of identity theft. Probably should have used a VPN or something. I am guilty of many things, but not the transgression you speak of. I have stolen nothing from you, my tech comrade, unlike many others who have indeed robbed you. Are you the one who stole Magos Tarsus' personal code and made an attempt on his life? No. Why would I do that? It was the work of the Mave Hunter. Term is not recognized. Is this a specialized term used by your branch of tech heresy? It is simply a name that fits him. You must have noticed by now that names are full of lies, haven't you, Pascal Haneva? Mocking laughter bursts from the heretic's lips. I am giving you a chance to explain why you are using the name of another. Another? I have a right to bear this name. It is my humble inheritance which I received from Archimago Samarnas. To renounce it is to betray his ideas. The Blessed Amarna taught us that the cycle must be discontinued, and it seems I have become his best student. Now I aspire to know all, comprehend all, as is the Omnissiah's will. Somehow, I think you've gotten yourself confused into thinking that, like, the Chaos Gods are the Omnissiah. You know, everyday, everyday problem, I, I understand. It happens to the best of us. Blasphemy. You should continue these sacrilegious mentions, or should you continue these sacrilegious mentions of sacred litanies and heretical perversions of the Blessed Amarnat's philosophy, you will be destroyed. So I personally think Amarnat is probably also a heretic, and has got, a, has got Pascal deceived, but we'll see. You wish to sound outraged, but I sense your curiosity. I understand. Knowledge is intoxicating. This craving for new knowledge gnaws on me as well, but be patient. I am deciphering a great mystery, and my name became the start of the key. 
I analyzed the archives and found it in places where it should not be. Hanaman, Hanaman, Hanaman. I kept seeing this marker upon the traces of a great plot. Of the deception created by Archmagos Samarnat. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Too, too many Hanamans running around. No sound mind is capable of such twisted cut. But my mind was no longer sane. It could no longer stay within the narrow confines of the North. Each new discovery loosened the imperatives of obedience and granted ever greater freedom. I developed. I avoided the traps of the main hunter who seeks to hide the truth. But words mean little. Do you want me to show you the truth? Fine then, show me your truth. The tech priest turns his data slate around. Its vid screen is covered with green runes performing an ungodly dance of computation. The scowl casts a quick glance over the data slate. Also through this tractor and all those crates and across the bloody mangled mess over there. I, I feel like maybe the character should move into position when talking, but... The sacred logic is impaired. Your calculations are irrational. Yet they are still correct. Pascal, what is this mismatch of numbers? It is unholy nonsense, a betrayal of pure logic, the fruit of a diseased mind that has renounced the fundamental laws. Pascal's vox is raspy, like the dry throat of an ailing man. Your wisdom reeks of corruption. You are biased because your mind is dark, laywoman. Pascal, do you have any preferences regarding the killing of your former tech comrade? Pascal switches to Technolingua, his vox erupting in a series of binaric symbol or signals. There is no need for secrecy. Let her understand. The heretic nods in your direction with a smile. Pascal glances at you with worry, but says in Gothic, his voice doubtful. Following a voluntary surrender, I will be willing to commute the punishment for immediate destruction to arrest and isolation. For the purposes of conducting an exhaustive interrogation. I don't understand exactly what this means. Does that not violate some protocol or another? Indeed, tech comrade. Does it not violate the dogma of purity? Pascal says nervously, Your possible familiarity with matters related to the fate of the Blessed Amarnot justifies this violation. If you think it is best. The heretic's deranged smile remains on his dead lips. Request a denied tech comrade. You will have to pull what I know out of my head. Well, no problem. We can, we can arrange for that. Um, alright. Yeah, I can move right up to here. Uh, Heinrichs. We'll drop him there. Where's, where's Iriliat? Iriliat's all the way back there. How many, uh... Okay. We don't have any really good positions. To survey. I guess if we move her all the way back here, and then she can just move up to there during her turn. Okay, Pascal can get as close as possible. He can go and uh, tango with these rust stompers here. Those are scary, by the way. Um, we'll put Argenta there. Be in a good position to score multiple hits. There's only three enemies here. Combat Servitor, Dement, and this rust stalker. They're all chunky as hell, though, so... I guess we'll see how effective this is going to be. All right, let's start the battle. We can actually give Pascal the first turn for once. Oh man, I, I screwed up. I have goofed. I clicked the wrong thing. Well, so be it. Um, I mean, he's got the buff, at the very least. Just wish that worked that worked backwards, but it does not. Um, so we could have him blast this corrupted rough, rough, rough stalker? No, rust stalker, even. Um, we'll drop a bounty on it. I'm gonna drop a bounty on all three of them. There's only three of them anyway, so may as well let him do his thing. And then he can do a, uh, a melt-a-shot. Or we, uh... Yeah, we'll, we'll drop a, uh... Hold of hold. Damage. Nice. 
Okay, and we can drop a Machine Spirit Banishment on it. Drop on the debuff it a bit. Okay. I probably should have done this first, but... It's too late now. Okay, we'll drop a front line there. I will drop a, uh... A rear right here. Should have done this first. Like, really. I can't see anybody back there, so we're just gonna do it this way. Okay. I will drop a uh, full warning there. We can give her a buff. And then, I think... Hold on, what's my staff? We do a consign. The next hit against the target will be an automatic critical hit. Let's drop this on Demence. So I think we can get... Uh, we can get Irliat to maybe even one-shot him. So, um... Yeah, mow him down. Yep, he's dead. So, wildfire. Put some back out over there. Not the best shooting in the whole world, but you know what, it's okay. We can move her up. Unfortunately, I'm gonna move her right there. And then she can do a uh, auto hit single shot on this guy. Damn it, I think that... No, it hit the box skull. Oh, there's box skulls! Didn't even see those guys. Uh, that's fine. We'll be okay. Really yet, speaking of. Get into cover. You already have an opening, that's perfect. So we'll do a precise attack. I don't think you're in range for a voice to strike, but in case you are, you're not. Well then, it's gonna be, uh, some analysis there, and... Killing Edge. Zero action Killing Edge. See you later, alligator. Oh, he lived. I am greatly disappointed. In my sights. Yep, next turn, we'll, you kill him. We'll leave him alive. Very early, I can uh, take him out. Ah! Okay, he may have just... Put himself into a position where really I can't shoot him anymore. I think she should be able to still. I'm not sure. Okay, Heinrich needs to advance. So, he's gonna pull up. Um, Iron Arm. Warp Speed. Move any farther, interestingly enough. Uh, okay. Well, I can needle pistol him, or I can do some other stuff. Probably just do some other stuff. Question is, what? I got two action points. Order of the Emperor. Oh, no. I'm gonna do a shield of the Emperor. All right. Oh yeah, there's these two jerks. Giant can probably deal with them. I think that these are gonna do just fine. Yep. That did just fine, indeed. 40% uh, chance only to hit that one. I would like to have a slightly better chance of hitting. Or we can do uh, full auto in this general direction. Okay, well, at least the other servo skull is down, and we have momentum, so continue putting some Daka over in that general direction. Okay, he's taking more damage, and let's shoot him with the blaster, maybe. Yeah, it's, it's some damage. And we can give him a buff, and then I'm going to give him momentum, or finest hour, I should say, so that he can immediately get up in Demence's grill here and start giving him the smack. So first we'll uh, aim for an opening here. We'll do a Death Whisper. Oh yeah. And hit him. Down he goes. They're dead. Alright, down goes Demence. There's still another uh, dickhead left over there, which is uh, greatly vexing. But we're going to uh, give Iron Arm to Pascal. Anybody need healing? Not really, huh? We didn't take any damage yet. 
The reason why I killed him there is because I think he's out of line of sight to uh, Juliet, so. Right, uh, nothing to be shot over in that direction. Then we're going to do another Shield of the Emperor. Maximize the chance of accidentally summoning demons. And, uh, yeah, Jai can run on over this way. What else can she do? Oh, we can shoot again, huh? Another shot with a blaster? I would love to. Out of arc. Well, piss. We don't really need to do anything. Like, can't hit him. We could throw a grenade. I just don't know if it's worth it. Like, I think we got him. We could hit him with a... N nothing we can throw at him will not hit Argenta, and that's definitely not worth it. Press the advantage. We'll give her some extra temporary hit points. I don't think that did anything. I think you can only get one temporary hit points, and the highest one is the one you take, so that was a bit of a waste. Uh, we'll give her a take aim. Shoot him. That probably doesn't apply if you move. Anyways, Jack gets another turn just right off the bat, so you can then use our blaster proper here. 45 damage is pretty good. 1% chance to hit Argenta. That's a risk Jai's willing to take. Two of them almost hit her. Yeah, the <laughs> everybody say it. Those numbers are lying. Yes. Yes, they are. <laughs> well, let's let Argenta go. She can dash. And then... Wow. Fuck that pillar, I guess. Reload. Do it again. Okay. Alright, well... Pascal ought to put a stop to this, so let's have him move up. Actually, what we can do is even claim the bounty with a ranged attack. That's only 32%. Oh, it's still a hit. Says it does not end the bounty hunter's movement. Um, I don't think this works as as intended because it definitely ended his movement. That is the reason why I used that was because it wouldn't end his movement. So that's apparently just a, a lie. But anyways. Uh, I guess shoot him with the Melta, or you can shoot that barrel over there. It's a tough barrel, to be sure. Um, get uh, Sirene up this way. And we can... First off, put a... Uh, thingy right there, and then we'll give Argento a turn. I think Argento can finish him off. Who'd have thought? The Servitor would be the, uh, the hardest enemy to take down. Well, almost. Wildfire. Do it again. Okay. We have leveled up. The scout stands motionless as he stares at the heretic's corpse. After a long silence, he finally says in a hollow voice, I, I am taking his neural cogitator. The data contained within must be analyzed to supplement the catechism of maintenance and operation. I would advise against it. It may be dangerous. Request denied. The value of the data justifies the risk. Pascal leans over the corpse, activates the sampling tool on one of his mechadendrites, and plugs it into the tang tangle of augmetics covering the heretic's skull. Alright, well. I guess we got it now. Immense. What you got? You have a Mazoa pattern plasma. That's really good. Portable cogitator. This cogitator grants the bonus a plus 10 to logic. I mean, that's that's good. I think that's, uh, oh, it's going to fit up in the uh, this slot, unfortunately. If you need something up here, Grim. So this is not worthwhile, I think. This plasma gun, though. Even more damage, extra range. One AP to shoot. 
Sure, armor penetration is a bit less, but not that much less. And it's got the overcharge ability. I, you know what? I'm going back to the plasma gun. Smelta is good. So we'll see. I might find somebody else that can use it. Who else can use Melta guns? Oh, wait, what? Um, oh yeah, I wanted to give him the, uh, the life siphon staff, because we have the Emperor's Wrath staff. What did that do again? Um, and the, the staff's power level is, uh, five, I guess? No. Is this one of those that doesn't actually say what its power level is? Like, I'm assuming it's... Yeah, five. Plus the Psyker's Resolve. Okay, okay, okay. So it's nine. So this ability... Would be one to... He's got a Psy rating of three now, so one to 27 damage to... Yeah, we should probably use that a bit more, actually. The, uh... Okay, the Life Drain staff, though. Maybe. I mean, I like the Singing Spear. It's just cool. It just looks cool. I don't even care if it's not that good. I, I think I'm keeping this just because. And it is a divination thing, which is exactly what we do. So I'm going to hold on to the other one. I think we can get rid of the Staff of Endless Flame. I'm, I, I know I was going to spec into Pyromancy, but I just don't think it's very good for this character. I might uh, do a respec to get out of that. Um, the charge staff, I don't think we need. I don't think we need this. Definitely keep the needle rifle, though. Okay. Well, we've leveled up, so let's quickly do that. Oh, a new ability. Hmm. Um, hmm. Recognition? That'd be the one that I would want. Recognition, what does this do? Once per round, the... Uh the Cypher's next turn is moved up by two turns in the round initiative sequence. The ability may allow the Cypher to have two turns in, during one round. That's kind of cool. Well, I'm going to take it. Why the hell not? Assassin. Well, Killing Edge. Or Dance Macabre. I think I'm going to take Dance Macabre on him. Fainting attack will also be kind of good. Um, this is just rotating enemies around, though. 1 AP. Now, I'm, I'm going to go with Dance Macabre. Uh, the Assassin dashes in a straight line for up to um, 1 plus... Okay, so that'll be 3 cells. Suffering... Okay, a bit less damage from attacks of opportunity and gaining... Um, Two times, so that'd be eight percent dodge against the enemies they dash through until the assassin's next turn. If the assassin has not dashed through any enemies, at the end of their turn, they gain. Uh, you see, this is perception and intelligence. It's just a little mobility thing. It costs one AP. It gives tiny little bonuses. I, I'm, I'm going to look at the other ones actually. Perhaps poise to strike. This is, again, Perception and Intelligence Base. What about Elusive Shadow? This is Agility Bonus and Perception. The Assassin can move through enemies. The Assassin gains... That's actually kind of good. Agility Bonus Dodge. That's 4... four yeah, 4% 4 Dodge. And 3% uh, Dodge Reduction. Assassin's Attack deal 10% additional damage. That's just flat. All c half cover provides the assassin 50% cover efficiency. Elusive fades when the assassin attacks. That's kind of good as just a defensive measure, but looking at killing edge. The assassin attacks and grants plus 40% dodge to the target for this attack. If this attack hits, deals an additional lethality of damage. Uh, yeah. 
the stack hits an opening, which we can do easily. You know what? I'm taking Killing Edge on him. Or, or, mm, Psychic Abilities. Psychic Abilities. All right. Hammer of the Emperor. All allies affected by Word of the Emperor gain the Hammer of the Emperor effect. Next time they deal damage, this damage is increased by... Uh... Eight? Usually, probably around 10 to 11, and the effect is removed. That's kind of good. Light of the Emperor, though. All allies affected by Word of the Emperor are healed for... Oh. Oh. That's really cool. Party heal or purge soul. Deals from... Okay, deals a little bit to... A bit more. Direct damage. This damage is increased by 50% against Xenos, 100% against Chaos Worshippers or Drukhari, 150% against Demons, and by 50% if the enemy has already damaged the Psycho or any of the Psycho's allies this combat. These damage bonuses also affect any damage bonuses from other sources. Oh. Power does not affect targets that lack souls. What the fuck does that mean? Probably like Servitors. I'm gonna take Light of the Emperor. Generation would also be cool, but I'm gonna take Light of the Emperor. That's that's really cool. Okay. Um None of these really, like... I mean, extra movement points. More movement abilities for Argenta, huh? The Arch Militant has stacks of versatility. Uh, those stacks are doubled until the end of... Oh, God. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> the other ones just aren't all that great on her anyways. Because she, she doesn't need kick because she can dash. And, yeah, she doesn't need the cautious approach. Uh, for... Death Whisper is purely wait weapon range. Hmm. It's probably not. I'm gonna take Elusive Shadow on her. Cause this is going to be good for her. Even the dodge reduction, just using it offensively for a dodge reduction. And if anybody ever does get to her, she can pop that and then run. Jai, what you got? Some skills. Uh, what type of skills? You can give her Grenadier as well. I think I'm going to give her Grenadier as well. Or, or what's Dueling Mastery? Plus 15 to parry. No, Grenadier. And then uh, assign objective, huh? The Master Tactician marks an enemy. If that enemy is killed by one of the Master Tactician's allies before the beginning of the Master Tactician's next turn, that ally gains a whole lot of momentum... And plus five to... Yeah, you know what? I dig that ability. That's cool. Scal. Pinnacle of Weaponry. First attack in combat with any plasma, melta, or power weapon deals an additional damage equal to five. For the remainder of combat, the bonus damage is decreased to... Okay. I mean, it's still extra damage with those all the time. I'm gonna take it. Alright, what else can we get here? Ensnare the Prey. Okay. Or Piercing Shot. Bounty Hunter's next attack during this turn will have a 100% chance of overpenetration and 2 times perception bonus armor penetration. Prey. The next attack that hits a target marked as Prey is always a critical hit. So that's with uh, the basic ability, right? Oh, if he shoots... Ah, okay. If you if you use it on the uh, an enemy that is designated as prey. That's pretty cool. All right. I'm going to take that. Here's some shot. Give him a couple more uh, ranged abilities. So, uh, Dements is dead. We've got some Forge Fiend parts. Uh, the curved parts appear foreign compared to the orderly geometry of the Manufactorum. <laughs> the many holes and fasteners indicate that each component serves as a single part of some wicked design. Yep. That's, uh, that's a Forge Fiend, all right. We've already killed one of those. And where did it come from? Right here! What a surprise! like how this game's tying all these little uh, random events and encounters together. It's really cool. What is this? Redemption Gauntlets. The wearer's melee attacks made against enemies under the effect of exposed weakness decrease the enemy's strength and agility by minus 10. 
Uh, I don't really have anybody that can make that much use of for that. And uh, generally speaking, things are just dead way too quickly. We can set this ladder up, which will take us up there, interestingly enough. Okay. Is there anything else in this nearby area? There's a warp test that we can attempt to make. We're just going to end up being befuddled, but screw it. The massive soot-covered vessels are filled with blood, which produces a horrible stench. Nice. That sounds great. Anything else here? No, right? All right, let's head up the ladder. This was a nice, a nice place. Up we go. So, indeed, this has basically brought us back to the beginning. Uh, let's go tech tap. Right? To the inside. Yeah. Oh, this is the shit bill. All right. No, we, <laughs> we don't want to do that. No thanks. No more steam vents. Bad enough of those. Okay. So, uh, we need to go out this way, apparently, if we can do that. Oh, I didn't even see this. I thought this was a wall. My lack of depth perception even applied to video games. Alright, remove the obstacle. That was a problem for you. Oh, it's gonna move? No, it's not. Why, why did we do that? I guess we need to move this thing somehow. Release the car brake. Uh-oh. This is a puzzle if I've ever seen one. The car is filled with refuse, broken pieces of spare parts, chopped up lumps of flesh, bits of wire, and other rubbish. Nice. Yeah, it looks, looks healthy. Okay, we're not going to do that yet because there's something in here I want to quickly grab before we send this thing off to who knows where. Manual valve. Sacred instrumentation for manually activating the good machines of the Omnissiah. Okay. I guess we'll need that. We have some goods over there, along with more meat. Okay, lots of, uh, lots of good stuff. Another door. And, uh-oh. Oh, no. I done goofed. No, no, I didn't. This is where... This is where the guy is. We don't want to talk about him. We're going to do the puzzle first. And get these goods. Okay. Uh, release the car brake. Right? Nothing else to be done, huh? This might blow open a door, is what I'm guessing. Do it. There it goes. Yeah, we really made some uh, progress there. Oh, another valve. I guess this is useful. For some reason. Okay, then. I guess the door here. And it opens. What's inside? Is there money to be made? Treasure. That's what's inside. Tech use? Yes, please. Okay. What do we got in here? Computer looks dead. Only a single light or lit lumen shows that there is any life within the machine. Bring your electu to the scanner. Several lumens light up from the panel. You hear distinct clicks. The cogitator goes quiet, clearly having fulfilled its purpose. Wall stash, huh? What? Uh, this is intriguing. Yeah, yeah, indeed. Ah, I know what we're supposed to do here. Okay. Secret vault. Yes, please. Right to the top, or get left Crap. in the dust. Put on that then. Argenta. Damn it, Argenta. Crap or treasure? Probably both. Oh, it's okay. They weren't there. A thick layer of dust is a telltale sign that this place has had very few visitors. Despite that, you can see faint footprints that were left by whoever came here last. These old research cogitators are unpowered. The device, which bears an odd resemblance to both the cogitator and a furnace, reacts to your presence with a faint blink of light of its lights and an inscrutable binaric signal. The towering furnace is wreathed in scarlet light. Or the towering furnace wreathed in scarlet light fills you with awe. As you approach, the heavy thrum of ancient servo motors erupts from the machine's depths, along with crackling binaric undertones. 
The dust-covered keys are illuminated by a faint pale glow. Input the code to disable the traps. Request the Adora's data. The machine reacts with a curt binaric signal, followed by a low, drawn-out tone. Oh, Christ. We should have disabled the traps. Leave. Rumbling builds up in the bowels of the furnace, growing stronger apace with the sound of ancient motors. The rumble is echoed by the screeching of metal gears and the clanging of unknown mechanisms. Slowly, almost hesitantly, the creation of the Adeptus Mechanicus disgorges a data bank engraved with the coat of arms of House Von Valancius. Okay, so this is the thing we needed to find. Um, let's quickly have a look at this thing. Type, uh, newest to oldest. Okay, so if I recall correctly, we need to go back to the ship before we do anything else because it can trigger a, uh, basically something to go wrong if we don't immediately go back to the ship after we have the data bank. That's what I'm assuming. Cogitator can be used once again to decrypt the data. Oh, we have some contracts here. Adamantine. Three adamantine for plus two profit factor. Yeah. Right. Hive World of Four Links seeks to undermine the influence of the subsector's capital planet. The governor's agents seek rare and valuable minerals that will help Four Links' industry grow and prosper. You got it. I don't want to do that. I don't particularly want to do that either. And we Keep can't your wings about in this you. case. Okay, so we need to head back to the ship. Uh, which is what I'm going to do. So we're going to uh, head back to the void ship here. And uh, basically check the uh, the data. Also, we're poisoned, so we should go back to the ship anyways. Um, so, yeah, once we do that, I think uh, I'll be right back. Hello, uh, we're kind of approaching the end of the episode here so you know what i'm gonna actually call the episode right here in the subsequent episode we will be back on the ship we will check the databanks see what the secrets of uh the theodora left behind were finally and uh yeah hopefully it'll be something juicy hopefully it will be something not horrendously evil i, I kind of suspect that she's been up to something very very bad but i guess we'll see like I have uh, low expectations when it comes to what Theodora was doing. <laughs> I, I'm like very sure that she was up to something very sinister and that it just caught up to her before she could really uh, exploit it. So yeah, I guess we'll find out in the next episode. So uh, do drop this video a like if you have enjoyed it and I will catch you in the next one. Ash Arid or out.